What's up everyone, Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com, brought to you courtesy of ironmaglabs.com at the 2017 MPC Kentucky Open. I'm here with Laura Anglum, and I saw you posing for Gustavo and caught my eye. You got really into the posing for the camera, which is great. Thank you. A star is born, as they say. So this is your first competition. You're from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yep, I am. So talk to us about getting ready for this competition. Who did you work with and what was it like? I worked with Josh Smith through AMP Training in Cincinnati. He was awesome throughout the entire process. I ran into some struggles just with like meal prepping and get to the gym with a one-year-old, but um, it all worked out and made it through, and he pushed me the entire way, so it was really helpful. Absolutely. Yeah, you said the whole gym experience takes you like about three hours. and Yeah, especially with working and then having a little one, like sometimes I'd have to split it up with two different workouts in the day, so that kind of got tiring, but it worked out. <laughs> now, you said up until the age of 18, you were a nationally qualified gymnast. I was. And that's a sport that takes just an awful lot of discipline and commitment. Actually, yeah. my girlfriend's little cousin, she's 11, and she can't do gymnastics anymore because, uh, yeah, the doctors told her her bone structure is not meant for it. Oh, no. Yeah, and it's, it's a sport that's very, yeah. very grueling. In fact, the... Um, a lot of the fitness competitors at the MPC and IFB level, they also, their bodies go through just endless amounts oh, of... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard on your body, and some of my old injuries that I actually dealt with came back up through this process of training, so I had to work through those too. Absolutely. So, so you know, you come from a very, very uh, hard-working sport. Now you're involved in another one. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about this competition. What do you think of the show, the 2017 MPC Kentucky Open? It's been an awesome experience so far. Everything's super organized. Everyone's super nice, so I'm enjoying myself. Gotcha. Now, again, as someone that did gymnastics for so long, do you see yourself doing this long term? In other words, have you been bitten by the bug to compete? Yes, yes. I definitely want to do more shows, but I definitely need a break. But maybe next year I'll, I'll be back. Okay, now I have one last question. When you were posing for Gustavo, now this is your first show, right? But you were so into the posing, though. You like you like really no, you were really into it. The transitions were perfect. Um, I feel like you were you were born for this. Like what? Thank you. What are some some goals? Okay, go ahead. Tell me what you're gonna say. My trainer just told me that I, if I didn't like start practicing from like 20 weeks till now, that I was gonna be scared to death up there, and he was totally right. It helped. I trained for pretty much 20 weeks of posing. So once I was up there, I really wasn't too nervous. It was great. No, it was great. And there were people yeah. around. And you just totally owned it. It was awesome. I loved it. So what would you say are some goals that you have uh, in terms of your uh, physique-based competitive career? Um, I would just say I want to get stronger. So I definitely need this bulking season to uh, get stronger and lift some heavy weights. So next time I cut, I can be a lot better. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now, finally, where can friends and fans go to stay up to date with you on social media? Um, low A. So that's low underscore A with four words. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. This interview will be available at strengthaddicts.com. Thanks.